Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in Five. Today we are going to talk about mutex in C++11. So let's first see what is a mutex. It is a synchronization primitive. It is used to protect shared data or critical section of your code from simultaneous access by multiple threads. There are uh, two mutexes that, uh, that are widely used. Uh, the standard template library has std colon colon mutex and then pthread mutex t is defined in post 6 thread libraries which are used mostly on unix we are here going to discuss about the uh, standard template libraries mutex so before that let's see what are the characteristics of a mutex it basically is a lockable object what this means is it's possible to lock unlock and try to lock a mutex i uh, would we'll be seeing about this in detail uh, in later slides uh, a mutex is a default constructible object so you, you, you can construct a mutex by default constructor it is destructible you cannot copy a mutex from one object to another and similarly you cannot move data from one object to another uh, now let's see five key things about the uh, mutex defined in standard template library it basically offers a non-recursive ownership to a shared object which means you cannot lock the same mutex twice in the same thread. There are mutexes uh, in standard template library which you can use uh, for uh, to gain recursive ownership of the same object. Uh, we will be discussing them later. Uh, you can use lock function which locks the mutex but the execution is blocked if mutex is already locked by another thread. You can use unlock function uh, which unlocks the mutex uh, but make sure that the unlock function is called in the same thread which has locked the mutex. Uh, the try lock function is a safer way to attempt locking the mutex. Uh, it doesn't block the execution. If you don't get uh, access to the mutex, it just uh, returns false. Uh, so it's a safer way. Uh, then lock guard is a very interesting template class which you can use for uh, smart access of the mutex in uh, RIA style which is resource acquisition is initialization. When object of lock guard is constructed, uh, the mutex is locked and when the object goes out of scope, mutex is released. So it acts like a kind of smart pointer for uh, mutex. We can see a quick example uh, here, let's say here in your main function, uh, you want to print strings like hello and there and you call function print through these threads. So what print does is basically it prints the input string five times. So here, uh, if you don't want two threads simultaneously printing, simultaneously printing to the cout, then this portion of your code becomes your critical section. So what you would do in general scenario is like put the mutex here and lock it before entering the critical section and unlock it once uh, the execution of critical section is complete. So this is how you use mutex in general. To see the example or to see the behavior of lock guard, what we should do is don't use mutexes lock and unlock functions directly, just use lock guard object. So you construct a lock guard object uh, for a mutex because it's a template class you have to specify you are using this for a mutex. Uh, you construct the object before you enter the critical section and when this function is uh, complete. Uh, this lock object will go out of scope and it will be automatically destroyed and mutex will be automatically unlocked. So this is a very you know basic example to illustrate the usage of lock guard. So these are the five key things you should be knowing about mutex. We also saw the characteristics of a mutex, basically what defines mutex and we saw what is a mutex. So these are the five things you should be knowing about mutex and Thanks for watching, hope this helps.